I hope you are well and having a beautiful start to your day. We had such a nice morning. It was definitely a slower paced morning, which is always such a treat and my favorite kind of morning. So really thankful for that. And we're about to go on a little lunch date. So that's exciting. And I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I'll share more about them later, but essentially Squarespace is an incredible platform to help you build a beautiful online presence. And I love my website. So excited to share more, but yeah, we're going to head off to a little lunch date right now and then we're also just gonna run a couple errands after and get some groceries go to Trader Joe's and my grandparents are actually visiting our home for the very first time tomorrow so really excited but just want to like get food and stuff for that I want to cook them a yummy cozy meal so that'll be really special but I'm just excited to spend the rest of the day with you all no I'm like actually so surprised that it's not busy. Trouble is a silly thing. It always ends up sneaking. But with you, it's like the summer. Someone got the grocery bag stuck on them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you silly. Here's a quick little overview of everything we picked up from Trader Joe's. So excited they had peonies. I love peony season. So really, really pumped about those. And then I also got this basil plant because it's always just way cheaper or it makes more sense to get the basil plant instead of just a little box or bag of basil. So got that and some baby potatoes for dinner tomorrow with my grandparents. These are our favorite crackers, the hummus dip. And I love this lentil and ancient green soup. So I always like to pick this up for just like a quick lunch option. And then we have some feta for dinner tomorrow, some salmon, some arugula. And then I also love this chili lime seasoning blend. It tastes super, super yummy on avocado toast. And then I also picked up these almond butter almonds because I've heard really good things about them. So I think that'd be a fun little snack, but I'm too full to try them now from lunch. So yeah, we'll try that soon. And then I also picked up two things of organic acai puree because we love to make acai and smoothie bowls and just smoothies in general. So these are so great for that. And then also these acerola puree packets as well. And then it, these two things are for my sister-in-law for her birthday. And the peanut butter and chocolate chips are actually for her as well because I wanna make vegan peanut butter cups. And I actually want to do that later this afternoon. So we'll make those together. They're seriously so yummy. So that'll be fun. And then some lemons. And oh my goodness, you guys. I have never seen these before, but they're the cutest little tomatoes. They're seriously so tiny and adorable. Have you ever seen anything so cute? I don't even know what I'm going to make with these, but I just had to pick them up because they're so cute and fun. I really just can't get over how adorable these are. Hopefully you guys can tell how little they are on camera. So cute. Okay, I'm taking a little desk break to get some work done, kind of get organized and answer emails, all that good stuff. You guys know the drill. And again, I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've talked about them numerous times, but if you haven't heard, I absolutely love Squarespace and they really empower you and equip you to build your own personal website and online presence. And I actually first created my Squarespace website when I was in college. So it was kind of a really fun thing for me to do. And it really, I really feel like it has helped me 
to kind of grow and establish and kind of solidify my business throughout the years. So it's such a great tool and resource and they really have created such a user-friendly platform so that you are able to visually share your thoughts, your work, your life. They have so many incredible templates. And one of the features that I really like is that you can display posts from your social media profiles on your website and you can automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so that your audience can see it and share it, which is just such an amazing feature to kind of streamline everything. So definitely encourage you all to check it out if you're looking to kind of grow your brand or business. And you can actually head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Allison Vickerstaff to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. So it's such an amazing tool and I'm sure you all will really like it. But like I said, just trying to kind of get organized on my computer. And then, oh my goodness, so exciting. So I ordered a DNA kit for Palmer because I wanna find out what kind of breed he is. And it's so cool that they even have these for dogs. So I haven't even opened the box yet because I wanna do it with you all. I wanna kind of do it together and we won't find out immediately. We have to take a swab of his saliva, I believe, and then we have to send it in and then they'll give us our results. But really, really excited. So we'll do that very soon. Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have ourselves a little iced coffee time break. Brandon said he didn't want iced coffee today, which can't relate but you know each his own I think he's just full from lunch and I don't know again can't relate I'm excited for iced coffee time and I'm gonna make the peanut butter cups as well and I've made the recipe before and it's so simple because it's just um, any kind of dark chocolate you could use any I mean you could use milk chocolate if you wanted to as well but she likes to eat vegan so I just get her like semi-sweet chocolate with no milk or anything and then peanut butter just creamy peanut butter and coconut oil so those are all the ingredients you need and then you're also gonna need the cupcake liners you can use reusable ones or the paper ones and then you just peel them off once the peanut butter cups are frozen so I'll do a little time lapse of making them but I'll also have the link for the directions in the description. popsicles for Palmer. I kind of just do different flavors each week and this week I did pumpkin, a little cucumber, some celery, some water, and I think that's it but he absolutely loves them. Okay while I was on my computer I was doing some research because I have this beautiful beautiful vase. It is just so fun. It's from World Market. I'll link it for you guys but Clearly the flowers are not looking, you know, too healthy. So instead of just replacing them with new flowers though, I thought it would be so fun to propagate in this vase because it's so perfect with all the different vials. So I was looking at how to propagate my Monstera. So I have one really big Monstera back there and it has lots of great um, kind of aerial roots that I could propagate, but 
it's too big the leaves are too big for this vase but i also have this little monstera that is just thriving it has tons of new growth and leaves coming in as you can see so i think i'm gonna try to take some off of this to propagate but i am nervous because i've never propagated before so i don't know we'll see but we'll try new things and i don't think it'll harm this plant at all because it has so many leaves anyways so i feel okay about it but again trying something new it's always a little bit you know have a little curve balls some learning curves so i'm gonna look at a few more blog posts and videos and then just give it a shot so i'll show you guys the finished product out for me and I'm going to water our beautiful jasmine because it's looking a bit dry it is just intense the Florida heat has been no joke it's been getting up in the 90s but I'm really excited because we actually have some blooms we have some little flowers on our jasmine trellis which I wasn't expecting because it is late in the season but you can see some here so sweet another one and i see some more buds let me see if i can find more it's not like all over the place but you know they're popping through how sweet is that oh my goodness and you see the buds next to it here's a bud that hasn't opened yet but I'm very excited that's definitely a good sign um because they actually are in bloom in april and may but obviously it's you know the end of may it's early june so you know, I wasn't expecting them to have any blooms whatsoever, but that was definitely a pleasant surprise. And I seriously just check on this so many times a day because I don't want to neglect it and I want to make sure it's very taken care of. I think in the summer it'll be good once it starts raining a bit more because then it'll get, you know, the consistent water because it does like more of a wet soil. Now what this seemed to move you like you did Okay, here's how our propagating plants turned out. I ended up taking a few other clippings just from other plants I have around the house. So I want to put one in here too, but I don't know what else, what other plant to take it from. But I think it looks really cute. I just hope they'll be, be able to establish some roots and keep growing. But I love the look of it for sure. Here's how the peanut butter cups turned out. They're super cute. And I added a little sea salt on top because I feel like that just makes it even more delicious. Okay, we've been running around and I just changed because we're about to go to my in-law's house to celebrate my sister-in-law's birthday. So we're off to do that and then I'll do the DNA test once we get home or tomorrow morning. I just want to make sure I don't do it rushed. I want to make sure I do it thoroughly and correctly so that we get the most accurate results, of course. Again, I haven't even opened the box yet, but still excited to do that. Okay, we're back from our family dinner. It was really nice. And now we're ready to do Palmer's DNA test while he's just, you know, having his best time with his toys. So this is the one I got and I just activated it. So basically you go online and you activate it and just like put in some information about your dog. But I didn't say like any, well, we don't know his breed at all. We we think we know some, which by the way, we think just by the way he looks, we think he's definitely some kind of terrier, but also he might have some schnauzer in him because he's so uh, fluffy. He has a lot of scruff. He's very scruffy. So that could potentially be part of his DNA, but we really don't know. And I didn't even upload a picture just to make sure that it's, you know, they, they know nothing about him because I want to see how accurate it seems. So basically now we have this and we have to make sure it's been 30 minutes since your pup last ate. So, I mean, it's been longer than 30 minutes. That's fine though, I think, right? It doesn't say at least 30 minutes, but you know, it's do you think that's exactly fine? 30 minutes. Yeah, I doubt they mean exactly, but <laughs> I'm just trying to follow directions. And then it says swab the lower cheek. So this is the swab. Oh, it's so it's medical. Oh my, look at that. 
see that? There's a swab. Oh, there's stuff in there. It's like a liquid. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um. Homer, you're getting a DNA test, bud. Okay, so swab the lower cheek pouches for 30 to 60 seconds to fully soak the sponge. So there's a little sponge on the swab. And then, oh, so maybe the liquid doesn't come out. You just, because there's the sponge at the end and then the <coughs> liquid, maybe that's just to uh, preserve the saliva. And then shake it around afterwards. Oh, you shake it around, okay. Do you feel confident? Do you want to do it? I feel like you should do it and then I'll just help. Pome, you got your bunny? You got your bunny, he's so cute. I can't wait to find out. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna give him some treats after. And then we just close the cap and come shake here, 10 here. times. <sighs> okay. Swab the she puts her swab into two here. with tip facing down. Come here. Come. I think Brandon understands it. Okay. Go me, sugar. I just took the DNA test, turns out I'm a hundred percent cutest doggy in the whole world. Da, 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 okay guys, before we get our results, leave a comment down below of what kind of dog you think Palmer is. Cute little squishy face, your cute little squishy face. Here, look, 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 Palmer. <laughs> Here we go. Showtime. Sit. Showtime. Yes. Oh boy. All right. Open. Open. Do you want me to set a timer for a minute? Sure. Open. I know. I know. Good boy. I know. I know. Good boy. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. I know. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. It's okay. Good boy. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, honey. It's okay. Good boy. Good. Looks dirty. <laughs> here, come here. Open. I set a timer. Yeah, a little bit on the other side. I said 30 to 60. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. It's okay. I know. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, I have some too. Oh, yeah. Give him that. Good boy. Yes. Good boy, Palmer. We're gonna, we're gonna so find good. out what our mystery man is. Good boy. What a cool little invention. Hi. You got your bunny? You got your bunny. I wonder how quickly we'll find out. There it is. Amazing. Okay, so now we just send it back. Oh, I have to read that oh, Okay. Good boy, buddy. Send it. Drop your sample into the clear bag. Full removable strap and stick it Okay. You did it! Just gotta stick it in the mailbox. Okay, friends, I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I'm just gonna. Get all ready for bed, cuddle up, take it easy. But thank you guys so much for spending the day with us. I'm so thankful for you and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and your week and we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Did you hear Brandon? <laughs>